Morning, everyone. Hope you're all well. Welcome to Rural Ray, Rural Ray Headland. Until fairly recently, you couldn't drive down this road to the lighthouse and get sort of accosted by people going, oh, this is private, you're not allowed to drive here. But apparently, it's recently under new ownership, so now you can drive down the road freely, park, walk around without being questioned. Crazy, crazy situation. Reading a lot about it as I've been staying here. Um, absolutely mental. But anyway, look, wow, coastal scenery. I haven't really got much of a sky in all honesty, but great to be out here and have an explore. Huge slabs of rock and, oh, it's brilliant, love it. So I'm just gonna get on with some stuff and I'll hopefully speak to you a bit more today because um, I think we're a little bit of, um, a little bit free for rain for a few hours. So I might be able to talk a bit more this time rather than being at home explaining the shots, which I think is gonna happen with a lot of my Scottish things. Anyway, better get on with it, that looks fantastic. I think it's probably time to get the old stop around. See you in a little while. Oh, I don't think, I'm, don't think I'll be going too far down there. <laughs> that looks a bit hairy. Oh, this is brilliant. Um, the, whole, the whole area is um, reached by about a three mile road from Melvague, which is the last, which is the last village. Um, it, and seriously, as you drive along, you just look down and you think, oh, coastal heaven, coastal heaven. Some wonderful places to shoot here. You could spend days just doing coastal images around here. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm gonna have a little go down here and um, just see what I can see. Just gonna be very, very careful though. Nasty little slope there and that jetty looks a bit dodgy so I won't be going close to that. So um, yes, yeah, so I'll be keeping my distance, always respect the sea and hopefully I'll get some nice images and put some up in a minute. A little bit of rain, ew. <laughs> Bloody typical. Ah, oh, great, a uh, handful of sheep shit. Anyway, moving <laughs> swiftly on. Well, I finally dragged my away, myself away from that wonderful area down there near the jetty. Brilliant coastal photography down there, absolutely wonderful. Shooting waves, you know, doing the sort of the Rachel Talibart thing, but without getting anywhere near to the sort of work she produces. Never mind, failing miserably. Uh, long exposure stuff general coastal shots, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So I finally got myself around to the lighthouse. It's a brilliant, brilliant subject. The geology in front of the lighthouse there, those wonderful red rocks, absolutely superb. Looking forward to having a go around here. So I'll put up some images from here in a minute and have a little further explore before perhaps moving to another location. But this has been absolutely wonderful. So um, hope you like the images. Yeah, better get on. Oh God, more sheep shit on my hands probably. Unfortunately, guys, the lighthouse didn't work. I mean, you can see the sky behind. It's incredibly bland now. Great pity. I tried to tried to do some long exposure stuff, black and white stuff, but not really happened. I may put them up just to sort of show you, but I, I don't think it was even worth worrying, worrying with. It's not really happening. So I think what I'll do is I'll call that a day from here 
and go up to the car and have a, have a pack of crisps and a, have a drinky and move on to my next location. But I, though I have spied something that I might shoot as a final image of this little session, but it's been really great here. This is a fantastic location, weather not quite on my side, but it's there for another day. So thanks ever so much for joining me here and look forward to seeing you soon. Hello everyone, welcome to Red Point. I thought I'd put this on as a little extra on the, um, on the end of my Rua Ray vlog. Red Point, I'm not feeling that. That's very rare that I'll go to a beach and not really feel inspired. I think it's just the amount of people that are about when I turned up, the amount of footprints everywhere. The place looks a bit messy. I know that there is a second beach at Red Point on a bit of a boggy walk over there with wonderful views towards sky and I haven't got time for that today but maybe I'll do that within the next few days but um, yeah just not feeling it here but I ain't gonna let it beat me so I have walked to the edge of this little outfall stream that's going into the sea and the colors are absolutely fantastic so Though Red Point has some lovely dunes behind me and I'll do one of my little cheapo panos in a minute to show you. I'm gonna have an abstract, half an hour or whatever, because I think the rain's coming in as well. Just to say, don't get despondent. There's always something you can do. So I'm gonna put the old abstract head on and have a go and show you some of those. Okay? And then I might go to the pub for something to eat. Woohoo! Right, okay, let's get to it. Well, I hope these images go to show, guys, that there's always something you can do. I must admit, when I turned up, I was pretty down about it because there were people everywhere and I saw so many lovely abstracts or possible abstracts on the beach with the sand, but they were impossible to shoot because there was just footprints everywhere. Um, so it's obviously a really, really popular beach, even at this sort of fairly late part of the year. So anyway, the main thing was not get down about it, keep walking, keep looking and make notes either for future visits or you may well be surprised. Well, on this occasion, I was surprised. And it wasn't something you could see without being literally on top of the subject matter. So once I'd seen those lovely oranges and blues and reds, by the way, I hope you like oranges, blues and reds, because that's all that's going to be for the rest of this vlog. But um, I thought, yes, let's reach for a standard lens. We don't want to go too wide on this. We want to get into the nitty gritty, get into the subject matter. So I put the 50 mil on, I used the polarizer, which I thought would get rid of a lot of the reflections in the water and also punch some of those wonderful colors. But one of the main concerns was finding the right shutter speed. The water was obviously flowing through the, through the outfall rather quickly, but I didn't want it to become milky. I wanted those lovely patterns and shapes that were forming to, to be apparent in the images. So it was a case of just experimenting with the shutter speeds for about a minute or so, just trying to find the right one and I found that something around 0.4 or 0.5 seconds was perfect so um, I must admit I'm really quite happy with these shots and it sort of saved my day really once when I was you know thinking about jacket in and um, heading off home but yeah rather pleased with these. Well when I turned up here tonight I was envisaging wide vistas of dunes and yeah but that hasn't happened but I have really enjoyed taking these abstracts. Red Point, you haven't won me over yet. And like I say, I've got to visit the other Red Point yet or the second beach, but I've really enjoyed doing these abstracts tonight. And um, I might even be pleasantly surprised how some of them come out. I hope you, like I say, I hope you like looking at them. And um, yeah, I think it's time now for something to eat. And I'll leave you with perhaps a few more and I'll catch you from somewhere else in Scotland fairly soon. Take care now. Bye.